So today we're at Plantasia, the wonderful garden show in Buffalo, New York. Well, actually, it's Hamburg, New York, um, <clears throat> where a bunch of local nurseries um, <laughs> collaborate, collaborate together and show off um, some plant material and some of their um, unique ideas for landscaping. And oh, there's a lot of vendor booths and all this cool stuff. So enjoy the next clips of footage from the great Plantasia. So, I really think that um, Plantage is going well, and I wanted to um, basically show you these fountains. These fountains are really great, they have a nice little sound, they're very cute. Um, and then you see a crazy pic of me. Um, there's, they do some really crazy stuff at Plantasia, and I think that the way they use their plant material, and the way they use their stone, their pavers, it's really, really cool. And here's a fireplace. That was I thought that was really neat looking. The chairs are really nice. The way they do everything up in Plantasia is just fantastic stuff. I can't stress enough how beautiful everything looks. Um, here we've got some, it looks like those are maybe Calancho or something, um, which is a tropical. I could be mistaken on that. I'm not great with tropicals, but the, the houses that are hanging in the trees there are really, really cute. Um, and then, again, we got some more plants. Look at those gorgeous tulips in the back. They are just really pretty. Striking yellow with a little bit of a muted red. They're just really, really pretty. And then here was a clip from the McKinley High School and the Niagara County Community College booth where they have a little bit of um, a vegetable garden going. There was a little bit of lettuces there. Um, they had some peppers as well. Beautiful arrangement display right here. I mean, you can't you can't get any prettier than that display. I mean, there's some calla lilies, there's some hydrangea, a cute little birdhouse. I don't know if I really like the birdhouse, but that's just my personal opinion. And then over here we come to another water display. Um, just really nice um, sounds coming from the water. It's really really nice. Okay, so there's this section here that I was really, really intrigued by this lawn bot right here. I'm assuming that it's something that automatically cuts your grass on its own. And then, sorry about the randomness the, of cutting in and out here, but this treehouse is like an epic treehouse. And here we're just kind of segueing into the rest of what the treehouse looks like. It is the most insane thing I have ever seen. And it was really creative the way they did this. Um, here we have some daffodils, some really pretty geraniums, a little bit more daffodils. Um, just beautiful. There's a bunch of hyacinths everywhere because it's a spring ball, but it's just beautiful color, beautiful fragrance. I mean, you just, the color on some of these um, daffodils is just outstanding. And here is the rest of that, um, that fort. There's a crazy bridge. And here you see me sitting on the bridge, and I'm like, woo, bridge, yeah, bridge. And, uh, or I'm sitting on a chair, sorry. Oh, where was I going with bridge? Um, definitely cool stuff, definitely cool stuff. Um, and I'm kind of like waving there, and this is the back of that fort. Really cool, it's got a nice little, like, wooden bridge walkway thing, kind of like you would find at a playground. Um, those are some boxwood shrubs, there's a bunch of different coleus in there. Um, some really cool stuff. I took a card right there. That was my hand, sorry. Um, just some really, really neat looking stuff at Plantasia. They do a fantastic job with all of the arranging of the flowers. More daffodils. Such a beautiful yellow. 
and you know I just I can't get over how awesome Plantasia is and I really hope oh here's some Dusty Miller I hope that you can appreciate Plantasia as much as I do okay so we have one last little second here and I just wanted to say thanks for tuning in and stay green folks